our problem number one for the resultant of non-concurrent core system. To determine the resultant of the non-concurrent core system as shown in figure 14.0 and also its x and y intercept. Okay? So ito yung figure natin. Meron tayong uh, 40 kN uh, downward at C and inclined force na 50 kN at A and inclined uh, force 30 kN at B. Okay? So, ang uh, equation ng resultant is equals to okay, uh, square root of summation of forces vertical squared plus summation of forces horizontal squared. So, summation of forces vertical assume natin ang upward forces is positive is equals to negative 40 minus 30 sine of 75 degrees plus 50 multiplied by, okay, yung hypotenuse ito is 5, multiplied by 3 over 5. Therefore, ang submission of forces vertical natin is equals to negative 38.978 kilo newton. So, since negative siya, ibig sabihin, downward ang ating summation of forces vertical. And yung ating summation of forces horizontal to the right is positive is equals to positive 50 multiplied by 4 over 5 plus positive 30 multiplied by cosine of 75 degrees. Therefore, ang summation of forces horizontal is equals to 47.765 kilo newton. At since positive siya, ibig sabihin, ang ating summation of forces horizontal is to the right. Okay? So therefore, yung masod natin ang ating resultan. R is equals to square root of 47.765 squared plus 38.978 squared. Therefore, ang magnitude ng ating resultan R is equals to 61.650 kilo newton. And it is downward to the right. Okay? So ngayon, kung kunin natin yung kanyang uh, x and y intercept, kailangan natin mag-moment sa O. Okay? Sa so, point O natin. So, ibig sabihin, since uh, 61, okay, di, uh, di naman pinapahanap kung saan yung location ng ating R. Kung nasa first column of the show, so quadrant. Ang sinabi lang naman dito sa problem, hanapin natin yung x and y intercept natin. Okay? So, sabihin natin, ang kanyang line of action is Tama, pag ito yung kanyang line of action, okay? So, ibig sabihin, ilalagay na natin yung R natin sa X, sa Y and X axis natin, okay? So, ito yung ating R. And this is summation of forces vertical. And this is summation of forces horizontal. And ito yung kanyang, uh, ito yung extension ng ating line of action, okay? And then, pag ito yung kanyang line of action. So, summation of forces, vertical, and this is summation of forces, horizontal. Okay? So, mahanap natin yung kanyang x and y intercept. So, this is, okay, y intercept. And ito naman yung kanyang x intercept.